of the Empire State Building. C100. America's most musical family. We oh, got the man. squad in the house. Woo! Oh, oh you guys. Yeah. Big show Woo! coming up in just a matter of days from where we are right here. And you guys have had the opportunity to see some of the most interesting, amazingly creative families. Yeah. Yes. Like, how difficult is it to be able to pick a favorite? Like, it's are you kidding me? It's very hard, hard especially it's with all the genres. Like, really it's really apples hard. and oranges. I mean, there was just, there was, Nickelodeon narrowed it it down to 30, you know, that we got to see. And we literally were like, could you not have put anyone who sucked in the group, yeah. like, on an episode? Because there was no, never, like, an obvious choice for elimination. Well, for you, Nick, is it easy that you just get to be the host and you don't have to pick? <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> no, it was, yeah, I mean, literally, they would, I would, they would go deliberate, and I'm like, thank God I don't have to be a part of it. Yeah. Because yeah. It, it, there were so many great groups, literally from top to bottom, that I can't imagine being a part of trying to eliminate anybody. So. One of the things that I feel is probably going to be the most amazing is just the different, as you said, genres the different yeah. parts of the world you know not only just the country but we got canada we've got oh, hawaii yeah. represented the different yeah. pockets of the u.s that get to put in their own little their spin you know yeah. how fun is it to watch their particular region come to life through what they do uh, as a family it's amazing it's so beautiful and so touching and inspiring i think it will inspire others that watch the show yeah um it's very touching honestly it's you know and, and i can't give away you know, no, too don't. much, but yeah, the, I don't want to be the, the known act. as the person that spoils it. No, but I'm just <laughs> saying, um, you know, but the act from Hawaii is really, it's a really Beautiful, sweet act. Yeah. And yeah. it made me feel like I was in Hawaii watching them. Yeah. You know, that's what you want to feel. You know, people bring their unique culture to the stage on this show. Um, there's so much diversity on this show. Um, but it is amazing to see people represent like they're, where they're from. And yeah, cool. it's like, oh, go good, go I was going to say, there's, there's a mariachi band with an 11-year-old lead yes. singer. Oh, my gosh. And again, like for Latin families to say, like, look, you can bring your culture and our family history to the stage. And for other kids to be sitting home watching that going, wow, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I never knew mariachi music was that cool. And, like, these kids are making each genre of music cool for yeah. other kids especially i mean adults too but you know that's to me like the magic Maybe cool for show. kids to watch it's it's, a, it's obviously a show that the entire family can sit down can Absolutely. watch can bond yeah. over and that's well, something that we yeah. need the cool thing about this show i was going to say is that it doesn't matter if it was like a death metal band yeah. you know <laughs> which band, we had on the show. Or a folk band or a celtic group from ontario or you know it, a gospel group from Louisiana, the through line, the thing that was always the common denominator was that they're family. They're family. Yeah. You felt the love, you felt the connection, you felt the genuine like joy that they brought to the stage. It didn't matter what kind of genre of music it was, that was like consistent across the board. One of the things leading into me coming in here and hanging with you guys, the word that I've heard a lot in the other room is that you all have become a family. I mean, Dave, like, what's sure. it, yeah, what's it like for you to, you know, plop in in between so, some musical icons oh and God. to, you know, call them family that you guys have yeah. come together? Tell, so, tell them, son. Tell okay. them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are family. Yeah, no, it, it, it really is nuts. It's uh, there was um, there was a, a time where after we were done shooting, Nick pulled me into his room and there was a couple of, like. Adults there, they were having snacks and drinks. Yeah. And I just felt like I felt like a grown up. Yeah. I literally felt like I was you at felt camp. You got to sit at the big kids table for yeah, once. Like a grown up I, table for Thanksgiving. I felt like I was at camp and my camp counselor was like, come on, come hang out with <laughs> us. On, on. This is the and the flip thing. side of that is what? David introduced us all to high chews, which is yeah. like this yeah. like amazing. A, a candy. You've never candy. had high chew before? No, I had no, never had crazy. high chew. Oh, Debbie. So, on, Debbie, so out of touch with the candy world. Oh, but not flip, anymore. The flip side of that is, I never felt older you. than hearing that story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I've become a camp counselor. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, There's no easy way to put that story. Yeah. One, of the, one of the amazing things also is that it's it's Nickelodeon. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we have yeah. all grown up being a yes. part of this somehow, yeah. some way, either being babysat by Mark Summers watching Double Dare. Sure. I don't know if any of you are, uh, you know, afraid of the dark, but to no, be a part of this yeah. iconic brand. Um, yeah, I had the opportunity, and I've been a, a member of the family for a while. Have has everyone here? I think you've been slimed. Yes, I have. Yeah, that was one of the things on my life's bucket list. Right yeah. to get slimed. Yeah. Are we gonna somehow make I, this happen? I was oh slimed. My you were slimed as well. Yeah, that's right. KCA's. That's right. I've been slimed. Yeah, that's weird because I actually co-hosted the Kids' Choice Awards. Oh, Debbie! With Brian Robbins, who runs the network. 
work now. Yeah. It's like a full circle thing, but I've not been signed, and yes, I'm, I'm, I so guess it's I, probably I wanna forthcoming. So what I want to ask with that is, is how amazing is it to be a part of such an iconic um, brand, to, to have amazing. that orange Huge. blimp be it's amazing. It's something <laughs> that you might get tattooed on your, your thigh at some point. <laughs> well, and also, <laughs> already, already done. Already done. Huge for us, too, because this is the first time that Nickelodeon's gone into this world, into yeah. the music competition yes. you know, space, and for us to be a part of that kind of groundbreaking you know, moment for them. For and, sure. And to your point, such an iconic network, and to be a part of that uh, on this show, I think, is a, is a big honor for yeah. all of us. Yes. And so, I, oh, go ahead. No, no okay. you go, go, go. It was so cool. Um, I was in Atlanta the other day, and my um, Nickelodeon was on TV, and my son looked up and goes, yeah. "Mommy, that's you!" Oh and it was gosh. a commercial of the show, and yeah. I was like, "That's so sweet, but kind of trippy because it's like, I You're love, in his world. Yeah. yeah." And and I remember, like you said, growing up loving Nickelodeon, all sure. the shows. I mean, I don't know. I don't think this, this channel ever it's changed. I was say, all, I was like, thinking about all yeah, of that. Yeah, and I'm then, you. And this show performed on all that, which is really yes. kind of trippy too. The reboot has been amazing. But it's like, ah, it's just really cool. It's a sweet feeling, and it makes honestly, it makes me feel like I'm like really young still. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm like, you know, in it. Um, you know, well, on it's, behalf it's of like cool. all of us who have been fans of Nickelodeon, who love the the reality TV space, who have that that musical, you know, I mean, we all connect through music. To see that you guys yeah. get to be the four that help to uh, to really, I don't know, blast this to the world and yeah. to really be something that's going to set up, yes. you know, uh, these we, family bonds that are going to be unbreakable. I we've all been saying that, like, we've had, you know, the honor of having the front row seat yeah. and that ticket, like, every week to being a part of these families' journeys because you better believe all 30 are going to do something. Like, they're going to yeah. walk away with new fans. Like, every week people are going to be like, I'm following this group or sure. all of the groups or three of the groups, whatever. But, um, yeah, we all get to just, like, in some way, shape, or form be a part of it. And I was going to say, too, when you were saying Nickelodeon and being such an iconic brand, I think the goal of this show, too, is to, like, really launch the career of a real musical act. Yeah, and yeah. And Nickelodeon has the power to do that. Like, I always thought, like, wow, you know, they're going to be able to really bring this group forward. And they have the video channels and the shows and the, mm -hmm. everything. And, you know, so and, it's and, exciting. And Republic excited. Records has the power to do that. For right, sure. Exactly. For sure. It's a real yeah. opportunity. Yeah. We a obviously real can't real say who wins, but... No, no, yeah, no, but, but it's going to tell you, it's... it's What's it's really you, important. Maxwell. You yeah. won. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> floss. I'm just gonna floss you. Guys. <laughs> I think what's also really cool and unique about the show um, that really sets it apart as well is that the fans actually end up making the final decision. Yeah. Um, the and, live and, and most in pretty much every episode, and we are part of the process. But I think there's something so cool and real and sincere when young kids vote. Yeah. And decide things and because on they're, they're there. Yeah. They yeah. they tell it like it is. They yeah. just oh, react how they yeah. actually do. <laughs> yep, they keep it real and they're so honest. They like what they like. And they don't waver. Yeah. You're like, oh, but what about this? No, I like this. Yeah, guy. yeah. And what you're, about that? No, you're not I gonna, like no, this. this is... They're not changing mm -hmm. their their position, mm -hmm. and it's it's really cool. It's really sweet. It takes the pressure off of us at that point. So now um, I want to bring it back to you, David, just to be able to have and, and you know be alongside some, like I said, musical greats. And and I want to ask each of you also Thank this you. in a little bit is um you know influences walking away being influenced by these families maybe musically and uh, i would imagine that you guys in your musical careers maybe are seeing some things like oh that might spark a you know something new for me to try mm -hmm. to you know to do and uh, but for you you know really coming from like the, the internet agent to really be sure. dialed in and do you find the same type of an influence like oh this is like the squad of family that they might end up on the vlog, you know, saying number 737 or whatever. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Do those kind of things go through your head when you're, when you're watching these families interact on stage? I, when I think of influence, I think of, um, uh, my mind immediately goes to these two kids. Uh, they're twins, and they play the trumpet. Yeah. And growing up, I, I wasn't, like, super into instruments at all, but my parents would always make me want to play, make me play instruments. Yeah. And I just didn't get into it at all. But watching these kids play the instruments and like them playing cool like popular songs now, yeah. it like totally changed my perspective on the whole thing. So I was like, I wish I saw this as a kid. So now, now I know. I now I know. When I watch the next episode and there's instruments that you're not playing too well, it's because you got some inspiration from <laughs> your family. Exactly. That's what's going down. An accordion, That's how it works. You know, um, recorder. No, but the, yeah, the whole the whole show is just it is really really inspiring because every every family is a different story, they're a different yeah. background. And they're also incredibly talented. It's well, again, you all are, are helping bring in a whole new energy, a whole new uh, dynamic to 
uh, Nickelodeon. Thank you for yeah. being our guinea pigs. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, slash also, pioneers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. slash pioneers. We'll go <laughs> but again, I mean, can't be any more stoked for uh, coming up here in a couple of days, November 1st. Yeah. 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 America's oh, most so there. We're so excited. It's about to be with it. And You're I'm going to leave you with one last thing. Um, can you tell me, you killed Halloween. Oh, thank hey, you. you. And the husband, dang. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just leave it with that. But no, thank you so much for you. Appreciate you guys' time. I appreciate it. Can't thank wait. You. From the top of the Empire State Building. C100.